Hello there. I'm glad you stopped by. I'd like to show you what we've been doing for the last six months. You see, we've been here. In a boat club in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. If that name rings a bell, maybe you're thinking of the land of football. Long, endless beaches, beautiful landscapes, and tasty caipirinhas. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but you won't be seeing much of that here. Will it be hot? Oh, it will be hot. Real hot, 90 degrees hot. That we will deliver. You see, while others were sipping cocktails and working on their tan lines, Luke and I, we were working on a boat. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. You've come all this way and we haven't introduced ourselves. This is Luke. He loves sports, meeting new people, and sweet things. And this is me, Lori. I like to travel, make things, and warm places. We both had burnt out from corporate life and tried many different jobs to get by. So we thought living on a boat would be the next best thing to escape the rat race. A slower, simpler life where we could sail around the world, our home always with us, and our cares in the wind. Also, we wanted to create something where we could give back to the planet and participate in positive change. Really living each day, feeling connected with everything around us. So our idea of living on a sailboat evolved into living on a fully electrical boat, where we would experiment with different technologies to see how practical it could be for two normal people to take and use less. It sounds simple, right? And it may even sound like it's already been done. But as we dive deep into this project, we soon learn the great challenges that we face. Access to technology depends on where you are in the world and how much you're willing to spend. Information and knowledge depends on who you're talking to. And an environmentally friendly sailboat, well, that's not as obvious as it sounds. Not to mention, owning a sailboat has its own challenges. But we were not deterred by the size of this project. It is our dream. The wind in our hair, the waves crashing below, the horizon filled with endless possibilities. Ah, ignorance is bliss. So we found an old neglected steel sailboat in Brazil and decided to reform it. Let's start our story six months ago. Fresh-eyed, bushy-tailed, and excited about the future. So, we bought a boat. She's a 34-foot, custom-made, steel sailboat. Sailed all the way from France in 1997 to the shores of Brazil. So, come in and take a tour of our boat. Here we are, day one at our new boat, and here we are inside. We'll get a better video next time, but for me it's super, super expansive, but for Luke it's quite small. Um, but we are here. Check out these windows. I don't know what this guy was thinking, but they're pretty, pretty awful. He decided to, I guess, take bolts and put them on all the windows and compress them so much that it warped and cracked the plexiglass. We're gonna have to take everything out, re-sand it, refinish it, paint it, and uh, smudge. But we're up for it. 
and we're gonna rip out all of the wood. We're gonna take everything, everything out. We're gonna clean the hull, see if there's any places that we need to fix. Um, and then we're gonna put everything back the way we like it, the way we envision our new home being. If you are liking this video so far and you want to see more of our journey, like this video and subscribe to our channel. It's a little thing that means a lot to us. And just for the record, who, if anybody asks, oh, who worked on the boat? Who worked on the boat? And this guy, he just sits on the boat. All beginnings are wonderful, right? There's hope in the air, and no problem is insurmountable. And believe me, we had big ideas for this little sailboat. When we saw the sailboat for the first time, we knew there was lots of potential. And as creative people, we were really excited to start designing. So we began sorting through everything and throwing out the trash. Unfortunately, there was not much to salvage, just a lot of old junk. Also, the wood interior was poor and rotting, and we needed to get to the hull to evaluate it. So we got to work removing it all. For the new design, we wanted to simplify by keeping the original layout of the cabin. But we needed to consider all the storage space since the boat was currently designed for short excursions and not long-term living. We wanted to try to maintain as much as possible to keep down the cost and then focus our energy on making the boat environmentally friendly, but also beautiful and modern. But there were going to be some major modifications needed. First off, we wanted to change the tiller to a helm so long navigation would be easier and more enjoyable. After all, we plan on going far. This involved extending the stern roughly 50 centimeters to house the radial drive. By removing the aft seating area and the compartment where the diesel tank was housed, we would gain even more space in the cockpit for the pedestal of the helm. Second big change was to raise the aft deck in order to create easy access to the helm components as well as storage space under the deck and seating area in the cockpit. Then we wanted to create sturdy davits to support our future solar panels and wind generator. Additionally, they have to be strong enough to support our dinghy and its outboard motor out of the water while we're sailing. Just haul that and a hard dodger and we're good to go. So how are we supposed to accomplish something so grand? Well, we're going to need more hands on deck, so we hired some helpers to support us with the metal work. Needless to say, we were very ambitious, but we were feeling over the moon. Finally, our dreams were in the works, the gears were moving, and everything was falling into place. So tell me, what could possibly go wrong? 